Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNAD. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today's video is going to be really exciting because I will be reviewing the Reasoners new airless light. And I have kindly sent this airless light by Reasoners. So the first thing is that so excited to see the box and it has some holographic on the top. So this is such a beautiful packing and also this is this packing is uh, quite really smaller than the last one. So this is the box how it looks like. So I will be opening the box. I just love the uh, packing of this one. So I will be simply just removing the plastic wrap. And then opening the seal on both sides. So I've been using the first one, the uh, first edition of the Reasoners Airless and it's working really fine. It's more than a year now. So this box is open and we get their card where all the details are mentioned about their handles. And this is the manual. And also I love how they say that where art and tech meets. So all the instructions are explained into this uh, manual here. So it's looking quite really easy to use. So let's open the box. And that's it. Now I will be showing you the uh, machine itself. So this is the top lid and this is the container. And one thing I was really happy about that I got a European switch here. Last time I had to use the uh, extension to plug in because it was the other one, not the European plug. So this is the vacuum uh, container where you put your resin cups. So the size is actually really similar to the first one and now I will be removing the lid. So I can see a difference in the lid here that I will be talking about in the end of the video. If you like to see, I will be comparing both of the machines and telling you in depth what is the difference in between. First, I will be just talking about this one. So this has a beautiful white color, silver, uh, white gray sort of color and this is the uh, top button it has only one button you just click it and it start doing its work so i have mixed my resin here so i really want to uh, tell you something important is that you need to use a low viscosity resin when you're putting your resin into the airless uh, the high viscosity resin is not really recommended because it do gets uh, really warm quickly and it start the curing process starts so it's better to use a medium viscosity or a low viscosity resin into the airless so here i'm just mixing my resin and i'm trying to introduce as much bubbles as i can into the resin here so this is all mixed and you can see there are a lot of bubbles so there are so many tiny bubbles and you will be seeing them in a minute So I am just simply plugging it uh, to the main switch. So at the moment, I know that you can't see it clearly, but don't worry. At the end of the video, I have explained everything and you can see there clearly what is happening. So I have, I have put my mixed resin cup into the container and make sure that your degassing hole is all, all closed. And you can see with one click it's on you don't have to do any adjustments and it's doing the work so now it's really up to you how long you want your resin to be uh, in the container to remove the bubbles so i will be uh, doing 10 minutes so the bubbles will be slowly coming up and the vacuum is building inside the container 
So one thing I want to add here is that this has a bit of a quieter voice compared to the first one. Uh, not saying that the first one is uh, absolute loud, but still I feel that this has a really quiet voice to it. So as I explained that this took, uh, I put it uh, the cup in, uh, for around 10 minutes, but I just sped up the process here. So after 10 minutes, you have seen that the bubbles are removed and after 30 seconds, I have opened the lid. Please make sure that you degas de before you open the chamber, the container. And now the resin is out of the container and now it's time to pour and I will be doing an exciting project. Yes, I will be putting this rose into the heart here. So you have seen me making uh, these roses in different projects before I put this into a sphere then I added it into the frog and now I thought why not add this into the heart so it I hope this turns out amazing so this is the mold and I will be putting this rose into the heart here so before that I will be pouring some resin into the mold But before adding the rose, uh, with the help of a toothpick or any silicon tool you have, I'm just moving it around the edges because I really don't want anything to any bubble to be trapped onto the edges. So I am not touching the mold here, I'm just working on the edges. So now the rose flower is going into the resin and I am using a low viscosity resin. Please make sure that. And then I will be pouring the resin on top. So this flower is going to be taking some resin here because the mold is thick. So I'm really slowly pouring the resin from one side. And now from the other side. And I will keep the stem on the flower at the moment. So this is going to be the first layer and I will leave this layer to be cured, not properly, still a bit sticky. So this is actually our, after you can say it's 7 hours, my first layer is partially cured. It's not fully cured but partially cured. So this is actually a tip when you're doing different layers. So in this way you don't get the lines in between. If you see, you make a project and it has lines. So some of the... Uh, petals of the flower are a bit are a bit wrinkled so i'm using just uh, the heat gun onto the flower petals i just want them to be smooth so this is the second one and again i put this cup into the resiners machine i remove the bubbles and now i'm doing the second layer here and slowly i'm adding the resin so make sure you add your resin very slowly into the project uh, otherwise dumping straight into the mold will introduce bubbles so there are some tips and tricks on when you're pouring resin into your mold and after that i will leave this resin to cure and i will see you next day so this is the next day and i'm going to be doing the back now 
so actually i was going to do another color but i don't know what happened to me and i just simply mix the black color so this black color is by let's raise an epoxy this is a ready-made black color so i will link this in my description you don't have to add any black color to your resin just mix the black resin and pour it pour straight into the project so again this black resin is also will be done in layers so maybe next time i will be doing a white one because i was going for a pearl white shade I really don't know why this happened and I just poured a black one, maybe a black out of my mind or something. But then again, it's fine. Black is always beautiful. It creates a beautiful background for all resin creations mostly. So now I will leave this layer to cure and then again I will see you next day. So this is the next day and today is the day I will be removing the stem. So I will be simply with the help of a plier, I will be cutting it. Cut, cut, cut. And here we go. It's off now. And then I now it's time to do the final pour. I have mixed my resin. Again, the black one because at this point it's going to be black again. And now today is going to be the final layer and it's done. See you next day. So this is the next day. I am super excited because after all of these days, I am going to now demold this heart and I know it's going to be beautiful. So by the way, I bought this mold from Etsy. If you want to know where I did buy this. So the flower is peaking and I'm uh, really excited. <laughs> Reason definitely is a work of patience and if you have patience, actually I didn't have any patience, this reason has taught me a lot. So this is the mold and now we are going to see how this looks like. Oh my god, it's always so pretty. Don't worry about the top, we are going to do the top coat here. But I am loving it. Yeah, you can see the amount of resin ha it, this has taken. But we have to pour resin for creating the depth here. And this is the beautiful flower encased into the heart forever. Love this. I love these flowers. They are so pretty. They love, look so amazing into the, into the resin projects. So it's time to do the top coat. So I have poured my resin onto the heart here and now with the help of a heat gun I will be moving my resin and simply I will be doing the top coat here. So carefully I have done the top coat here and this project is done and now I will be taking you to the next project. So I will be showing you the end result in the end of the video. So here there are resin in these three cups and I want to show you how many cups you can fit into this airless light and again you can put more resin into the cups. I have taken the resin according to the my project. So my first cup I have mixed mica and then in the second cup I have mixed glitter and in the third cup is going to be the epoxy pigment because I do get asked these questions a lot that can we add our colored mixed resin into the airless or the glitter one or the mica one so i thought i'll do all of these and i have mixed the color before adding it into the airless so it's better if you mix all your colors and pigments beforehand after if you do that you will introduce more bubbles so you can mix your colors and then you put it into the airless container so these hopefully I have answered few questions so here. Simply press the button and then I will be putting these cups for around 10 minutes again. So here I have set my camera. So you can see the bubbles rising. So you can see the glitter, the mica and the pigment, the behind one.
So after doing the whole process of putting these uh, cups in the container for 10 minutes, these are all done now. I have removed them from the container and now I will be pouring this into this gecko here. So you can see the resin by itself is so clear. So I will be making this gecko in all of these three colors. So I'm so excited because they will go, I think, really lovely together. So I'm going to create a gradient effect here. It's really so uh, fun to see when your resin is so clear. This is such a beautiful mica pigment and this mica pigment is by Perlex. It has an interference blue in it. And slowly I'm adding my color. I don't want to overflow it. And then going into the tiny, tiny beads. Before I would add, I was adding this glitter into the front beads, but then I thought I'll add this mica color. It is so pretty whenever I just pour this into the gecko. So this is done now and still I have some extra resin so I will be pouring in this crystal mold that I made myself so these are some tiny crystals. So for this the resin that I'm using here is by Let's Resin, their low viscosity resin. So I will be doing a little bit of mix and match of the colors that I have. And after pouring the crystal, I still have some resin, so I have this beautiful holographic butterfly mold, so I will be pouring the rest of the resin in this butterfly. So now I can feel that my, that my resin is a bit on the thicker side, not too much, but a little bit. So everything is poured now and I will see you next day. So this is the next day. I'm so excited. So I still had some more reasons. So I I put that onto the inlay here. So first of all, I will be demolding this gecko here because this was done first. Carefully removing this from the mold because I really don't want to break the tiny feet. This is such a cute gecko mold. I have made so many geckos out of this mold and still this mold is so pretty. So this is out of the mold and you can see how pretty this one is and also I just love it. The glitter is floating inside and all of the colors amazing. This is only glitter inside. There are no bubbles. Just love it. So now it's time to demold the crystal clusters here. So I did get some overflow of the, crystal, uh, of the resin. That's no worry. I will simply remove this with the help of the plier. So if you want to see how I made these crystal, uh, this crystal mold, I will link above here the video so you can see yourself. So now it's time to remove the butterfly. And this is how it looks like, so beautiful, pretty, a beautiful light pink and that holographic effect. You can make beautiful sun catchers out of this. And now it's time to remove my favorite thing, these in this tiny crystal cluster inlay. It's so pretty, you can see that sparkly effect. 
really pretty i think i need to make some more inlays because this one is has been used a lot of time so don't worry i will be sharing the process with you again so this is i think how i will be placing it so you don't have to make the inlays full you can add it to the as a base so now i want to put this these crystals onto the gecko here so I was thinking of where to put so I have decided it now I'm using my UV resin by J Diction. I do made the geckos they were really different and simple this time I thought why not add a little bit of crystal magic to them. So after putting the UV resin I am placing my crystal clusters according to the position I want and then this will go under the UV light. And I will leave this to cure. So it's cured now but I will be showing you everything at the end of the video. Now I will be showing you the difference between both of these airless. So these are both of the airless and I have, I have placed them side by side to see the compar comparison here. So you can see there is not much of a difference size wise. Uh, but I can see that the other one, the new one is a bit bigger. Also the first one has these touch buttons. You can see there are some settings that you can do with this one. And on the other hand, this one, it has a single button. You just press it and there is no confusion. And this is the degassing hole. So this is bit again a bit bigger than the first one. I'm going to show you. So this is a bit smaller. Like this. But I think the size of the hole is same. And then uh, let me open this for you. And this is how the inside of the container looks like. And this is for the new one. So let me know if you can spot any difference in these two. And now it's time to check the capacity of the cups in both of these. So I'm now putting the cups into the new one, the airless light. And you can place three cups inside. And now I will be removing them and then I will be putting them again into the previous one. So you can put three, these three cups again into it. I'm just holding the camera so that's why it's, it was difficult for me. But again three cups inside this one also. Or you can add a big container. And here is the lid. Just to let you know that it fits perfectly. And I'm putting the lid on this one also just to show you and now comes the switch so this is the one that I was talking about this is the first one that I got and it has this plug so I have to use a connector so now just turn turning off the first one to show you the difference so this is the and plug. then this is the plug for the new one that is the European plug So similar plugs, not much of a difference again here. And you have to plug this on. So really simple, not, su not such a big deal. So I have plugged it on and now I will be showing you how you can use this one. So simply just by pressing the button, it's on. It's making the pressure inside the pot and it's off that's it it's done and now for the first one this is the plug that I use here you go and just now I want to show you that the setting of this one so you can set two modes here there is a five minute and there is a nine minute so it's really up to you so very gently you just tap it and it start itself and on the other side you can see the pressure building inside the number is going up and it's off so again this one is also fairly easy to use so there is a price difference in between them and the airless light is much cheaper than the first edition so I hope I have covered all the topics so now I will be showing you how the products turned out so this is the gecko and I just love how this one is so cute so this is the final results and this is the heart I this heart has my heart it's so pretty
so i hope you liked it and i think i have covered all the everything about the areas and the airless light but still if you have any questions please do don't hesitate to ask me and all the dis details will be in my description also i have discount code available if you like to treat yourself with this airless light so this is how it looks like you just enjoy the video rest of the video but i will be showing you all of these gorgeous items that i have made so please make sure to like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and take good care of yourself bye bye